All right, well, here we are. We finally got a clear, sunny day. We had about three days of rain straight, which is kind of rare here in San Diego. So it put my building to a halt. So now we got a clear day. It's time to get back to it. I have pretty much my kitchen and shelving side done. So now it's time to start working on my bed. I'm going to redo my bed. So I got a little bit of lumber here. And I believe I planned it out to where I've got just enough. And I'm going to be reusing a lot of the wood from my old bed frame. Uh, what I'm going to do is try to make a, like a slat slide out bed. So this will be the main frame with these slats running like this and then I'm going to have this extension that hopefully will be able to slide out and then push back in. Never done anything like this, watched a few videos so I am just going to go ahead and give it a shot and see how it works out. Okay so that's going to be the top frame of the bed. I've got it uh, 6 feet long, 72 inches by about 30 inches uh, wide there. So I'm going to get that uh, screwed together, I'm going to use uh, pocket holes on these boards here going into the long ones put some wood glue in there let that sit up okay i got the top frame screwed and glued together Going to start working on the legs and cross supports for the legs on either end there. Then this should start taking shape. Okay, so we'll take a look at how I'm going to secure the legs to the frame. I have this turned upside down basically so the legs are on the bottom here. I'll use these two pocket holes and some wood glue to secure those like that. Um, I'm going to go this way rather than like this. Uh, that way I'll have just that much more room to uh, slide stuff in underneath the bed. So I'll have it turned like that and then there will be some cross supports. A lower one here or that would be an upper one going across there and then one more going across here to give it support that way and then there'll probably be a center leg I'm gonna hold off on those until I have it inside the van that way I can space that center leg according to my storage totes so it's not right in front of one of those all right let's get these secured Okay, we have the legs attached there. Now I'm going to start working on some cross beams there. So I'll get that measured out and get those in there. Give a little extra support. Okay, our bed frame is coming along here. I've got these cross supports added. This is going to be the front end. My battery bank will be up against here. That's why I've got that heavy duty piece there. And then I just went with this another support here to give a little added uh, structure to it. Did the same on the other side, except I dropped the, the beam here all the way to the bottom so I can actually get stuff in through the back door. Uh, if I had the cross beam here, that would limit what I could fit under there. So hopefully that'll be enough support. I had another one there. And then up against the back of the van over the wheel well, I'm going to have one more cross support running lengthwise, but I want to make sure that I get it right at the right height so it sits right on that wheel well. So we are making some progress. Let's keep on moving on. We now have the bed frame turned upright. That's going to be the size of it there. So now it's time to start working on these slats. This is the boards that I'm going to use for the slats, this size here. They're fairly narrow, so there's going to be a lot of them. So I'm going to put the chop saw to good use today. So I'm going to get the, uh, the width measured out here, and I'm probably going to cut one of these as just a spacer. So as I start laying these slats down, I'll use a secondary one as a spacer. I'm going to give it a little bit of extra room so it can slide in and out easier. If it's too tight I don't want any uh, friction to make it bind up and tough to slide in and out so we're gonna start with the stationary end here first get my slats uh, spaced out and screwed in I will probably drill pre-drill holes in these to keep these from cracking and just give it a good uh, wood screw here and on the other end as I get those spaced out see how this goes well I have all the stationary slats cut to length somewhat spaced out here. I have to go over and double check my spacing here. It took uh, eight eight foot lengths to get these all of these slats here. I was able to get three slats per eight foot length with just a little bit left over. So that's my scrap from each 
each stick there. So pretty efficient with the wood. I just got to double check to make sure all my spacing is good before I start securing everything down. I'm going to go in and pre-drill holes on each end here so I don't have to worry about any splitting. And then I need to start working on the, the front piece that's going to slide in there. That will be the moment of truth if I can get it to work right. I am now working on getting the slats screwed down. I went ahead and pre-drilled these to avoid any cracking on those boards. And I'm sinking my screws in just a little bit to avoid uh, them catching on my mattress there. So that's how I'm spacing them. I'm using this one as a spacer, leaving just a little bit of a gap there, as you can see. So hopefully that, when I have the front built, it'll be able to slide in and out uh, without too much friction there. That's the idea. So I'll have an extension on my bed. It's not going to come out all the way, so the next pieces I drill probably won't be this long. We're going to see. There are our slats all secured to the bed frame there. Hopefully I've got them all spaced out properly and the slide in portion will work. I'm gonna start working on that. I'm gonna cut the uh, support beam first and then work on trying to get those slats in there. I'm not sure how this is gonna work. This is where we're at with our slat bed here. I have the stationary slats all done. The bed frame's pretty much good to go. Now it's time to start working on this slide out portion. So where we stand now is getting the slats screwed into this board here. So I need to get everything spaced out, measured out properly so that these are all screwed in straight. So I think I'm just gonna go with one screw here, pre-drill it like I did the stationary ones. I'm starting to get my sliding slats screwed into the slide out portion here and I started out doing one screw and I realized it's probably going to be better off with two. I think I can fit two in each one there. So I'm going to go that route. It'll give a little bit more stability on that board because this is going to get pulled in and out. So uh, I just wanted to make sure that everything was square. I've got this squared off in front here and even distance uh, slid out between here and here on each end. Just wanted to make sure everything is lined up and square before I start securing these slats here. So I think I'm good. I'm going to continue on. It's looking like this might actually work. Well, I ran into a little bit of a problem. I got uh, quite a few boards done on each end. These ones were screwed down. I removed them because when I went to try to slide it in, they started to bind up. Uh, the ones on the far end were at a slight angle, and I think it has to do with that. These boards are not totally true. Some of them have a little bit of a bow to them. So I think the way to do this successfully is to have it slid in when I install the boards. And uh, I think that'll give me a greater chance of them not binding up. So I'm gonna try it with it slid in and continue on here, see what kind of luck I have. Okay, to help have these as straight and aligned as possible, I went ahead and clamped the slide out portion to the stationary portion so it's butted up nice and even how it's gonna be when it's slid in. Did the same over on the far side. So hopefully that will help keep everything nice and true. We'll see how it goes. Okay, here's the moment of truth. See if this thing slides out. Look at that, pretty smooth. I think that's gonna work, guys. See if it'll slide back in. Not bad. The only thing I'm gonna have to worry about is when I'm sliding this, those uh, slidable slats kinda wanna go down. If I have my storage crates or anything that's too high up, it's gonna catch that. Otherwise, I think it's gonna work out pretty good. I'm uh, catching my tarp here on the bottom, and that's the only thing that's really getting in the way. I think it's gonna work. Let's see if we can get this thing in the van. 
Okay, we've got our slide out slat bed in the van. It's not anchored down, I'm just kind of test fitting it. I made the bed overall a little bit shorter. My old bed frame was a little too tight. It was pushed up against the back doors and my desk. So now I have a little bit of uh, room to play with there, which is what I wanted. So let's see if it slides out. I kind of give it an even pull there and look at that. Not bad at all. I like it. I think that's going to work. That's going to give me about an extra 18 to 20 inches uh, wider on my bed. So I'm going to have to do some adjustments with my mattress and an extra cushion to be able to accommodate that. What I'd like to do is have my normal mattress and then the extra piece is going to be like the back to the couch that when I slide this out I could bring down and make a bigger size bed. Thanks for watching everyone. I hope you enjoyed the video. It was a very productive day today. Very glad to have got the bed finished and installed in the van. So we'll take a quick look at the overall progress. Very happy with my kitchen and shelving unit here. Got my spice rack up. I still have a lot of finishing work to do. I got to get my paneling up on the sides there in the back door. Get my cushion, my mattress cut and fit for the back of the couch. And then I can slide that out and have a bigger size bed. So yes, a lot of finishing work to do that'll probably be the majority of the next video and then I have to decide if I'm gonna make some changes to my desk here I'm not quite sure what I want to do kind of getting burnout on the build but I should probably get everything finished while I'm here in one shot so again thanks for watching I hope everyone is doing well out there and we'll see you very soon in the next video take care peace so again thanks for watching guys